to the end. There's not too many letters left to go. And today is Vexed to Victorious. And I'm here with Madasia, and I'm really excited to present to you the first of our, our male certification students who's about to complete his certification. So we will have a brother in our team, inshallah, which is very exciting. So, Salam alaikum, Madasia. Good to have you here. Walaikum assalam. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm glad to be here too. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. vexed to victorious. Let's focus on the vexed bit first and let's talk about what it looked like being in a vexed state. Um, firstly, it wasn't very, uh, it, it wasn't long back. It was about a year back. <laughs> uh, Alhamdulillah, it seems long, okay? which is the, uh, uh, which is the humbling part for me to just see in one year how much has changed. Alhamdulillah. So it used to be, um, so uh, for, for, for the audience, uh, just for them to know, I am an entrepreneur myself and I'm a coach and I have a coaching practice for four years, more than four years now. So when I met you, it was a little more than three years. Um, so I was in a place of, um, it was like little before COVID, I, it, things were just being okay. And then COVID hit and it was like from bad to like absolute worse. <laughs> uh, so I was in a place of, um, worry mm. yeah because this is bread, bread and butter for me and i support my family um so i was worried i was i was quite anxious i would say um because i wasn't sure um is this for me in the first place like I, is, is this like like that that self-doubt which was um i would say a bit more painful than anything else. Okay, that self doubt, like, am I in the, in the right path? <laughs> like, did I make the right choice? And, 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 and those things, it's like one step ahead, three steps backwards. Okay? That's how I would say the self doubt. <laughs> Even if I was making progress, which I was, it was slow. It was very slow. But because I was doubting so much <clears throat> and I was, in a constant state of thinking about the future. What's going to happen next? I never knew what's going to happen next because there's no way for me to know. <laughs> so, so obviously I was mostly in a place of uh, playing the guest game. And I didn't know I was playing the guest game which is not going to work <laughs> ever because yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to know the future. So my, the way I, I, I say now is I use, I was trying to play Allah's role. <laughs> now <it's Allah. laughs> And it's funny when I say that because um, it's humbling to see when I just noticed it, it was like, a big burn off. <laughs> yeah, just stop doing that. You can't do that. <laughs> so all my pain and uh, constant worry and uh, and I was and that that had an effect on my other parts of my life too okay? because I my, my I had no bandwidth. Okay? Uh, my, my mind was always constantly thinking of ways to uh, make my business work. Uh, I had very little bandwidth for my family. Um, so, which I didn't know if there was any other way. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, that's where I was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and you're saying it in past tense, which means that obviously something has shifted. 
So how does it look now? Because we're saying it's victorious. I think that what came to my mind when I thought of Vex to Victorious, I actually thought about you and your journey and how you'd gone from being quite vexed about how do I get clients to actually finding that just flowing really beautifully, which I would say is victorious, isn't it? You, 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 I, you had success there. So tell me how things are for you now. We'll talk about how you got there, the middle bit in a moment, but what does it look like now? So you've gone from the anxious, worried, no bandwidth, no time for the family, no time for probably even yourself because you're too busy worrying about it. How does it look like now? Let me see if I can describe it. <laughs> so I have um, clients now which I could not have imagined to work with. These are absolutely perfect gifts from Allah, like amazing clients. Like these are people who, who inspire me, alhamdulillah. Isn't it wonderful to get paid to be inspired? Show up. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and it's it's amazing. Like it's like I show up knowing like I would love to support them because they're already on on such incredible people. And and I have a role to play and this is nothing to do with my past or what I think I can do. It's up to, it's like Allah has given me a gift. Like I'm, I, I want to honor it to the best of my ability. It, it, to me, it seems, it's, it seems very simple. I have a small role to play. And, and that small role, I am more than 100% committed to play, alhamdulillah. Because that's the only thing in my control. Okay. So, so I, my, my, I don't know how they find me. I don't know how I find them. It, it's become a joy ride. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a lot more conversations now. Okay. Um, for this, just for the sake of, of serving. Okay. I don't know if they're going to be my client. <laughs> Yeah, so I have a lot more conversations, like very meaningful, very, very meaningful conversations. Because I'm, I'm, I'm far more present. Because <laughs> I have more bandwidth, so I'm far more present. So I'm, I'm listening to what's really going on for them. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm really interested in their life. So, <clears throat> yeah, and... And I'm not thinking of like, how do I convert them into a client? Like, I need that. Like, no, no, it doesn't work that way. I'm, I'm really seeing that because when it happens, it happens. Like, mm -hmm. like they say yes when they're ready. I can't make them ready. Okay, but I can, I can be as, I can be my best self with them in the ways I can support them. And when they're ready, they're going to say yes to the journey I have. So it's not up to me fully, but there is a small role and it makes sense to play that role to best of my ability. Yeah, and, and, and the good news is Allah tells me how to play that role too. <laughs> we'll, we'll, so, get to that. we'll get to that bit in a minute. Yeah. About that. Okay. But I'm also <laughs> curious, you mentioned you didn't have bandwidth for your family. Has it freed you your mind up to be able to have have better time with your family? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, this is the busiest time of the year, Ramzan. Okay? And, and Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm noticing uh, I have a full day and at the same time, I, I, I play a very active role at home. Okay? Alhamdulillah. And I feel that's a privilege okay, for me to do that. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> 
I'm more available to my wife. <laughs> In ways, she teaches me how to be available. Mm. She teaches me how to actually listen to her. <laughs> That's amazing. You're listening to her, teaching you how to listen to her. Yeah. Yeah. And it's humbling. It's really humbling. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking care of myself very well. I'm very lucky. And my health, they are a parent's health. And lot, lot of the family members. Okay, and I have I, I live with with a with a huge family. Okay, alhamdulillah, but it's such a privilege to be with them. And I I I notice I can do my part in supporting my family too, my uncles and aunts. Okay, mm. so the word serving looks very different to me now. Okay, mm. so so that's what I'm beginning to see. A light showing me. It was, it was not like that one way it was looking to be like a square. Okay? It, it, is a, it, it, it comes in different forms. <laughs> okay? How I can support them, I, I don't know till I know. Okay? Mm. So, so that's the, the beauty of this. Like, I don't assume that I have a role, but I'm there. Okay? So, mm. and, and, and then I know. Mm. So, so, yeah. <clears throat> so that's beautiful. And in a way, that's the biggest victory of all, isn't it? That you're having such better relationships with all your family. You're able to be of service to your family, but you're also able to be of service to your clients. And so you feel at service to Allah in the whole process of it, in all of it. Because, in fact, that's what this life is about, isn't it? You know, it's not about, okay, um, this is my time to be of service and now I switch it off. We're always at service. We're servants of Allah. That's what our job is, subhanAllah, in this life. So that's that's vic that's the best victory ever if we want to talk about victorious, alhamdulillah. So what comes to my mind is what I hear, because we listen beyond the words as we do, <laughs> is tawakal is what happened. <laughs> that you, what we call, slowed down to the speed of tawakal. Yeah. Yeah. So here's a question for you, because someone listening to this will go, yeah, well, how do you slow down to the speed of tawakal? How do you slow down to the sweet speed of tawakal, Mudasia? <laughs> We need a masterclass for that. <laughs> you want to run um, one? We can sort that out. <laughs> inshallah, inshallah. Yes, I would love to. Yes. <clears throat> so there's, so the way it seems to be now is one is there is a truth to a, the circle, the, and there is. Something which seems true in my mind, what's going on. <clears throat> so when I am constantly busy with what I think is going on, like I thought my business is not working and mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Like I am not sure what's going to happen next. Like what I'm imagining, the reality is I'm imagining. And I think that's what is actually going on. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So my mind is really racing to the future. It's, it's never here. It's never in the moment. Okay. Mm. So <clears throat> it always used to feel like I'm driving a fast Ferrari in my mind. Okay. Though I love cars, this is, this is the wrong place to drive a Ferrari. Okay. Like it's, it's always racing ahead. Because okay. even when, when I have an opportunity to sell, I was actually not seeing. Mm which is what I, I, I'm noticing such a big disservice because I was, I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but I'm it's like you, if you're speeding in a Ferrari, everything is flashing past you so quickly. So you can't focus on anything like a tree. You'll be gone. You won't see it. You won't see that there's a bird in that tree. You won't see that whether that tree has flowers because it's, it's gone, right? So it's the Ferrari. So now 
Yeah. Is it more like you're in one of those old original flying pup, 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 pup through the country going, oh, look, <laughs> there's a bird in the tree? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'm enjoying being in my Ferrari. Um, Are you still in I your know, Ferrari? <laughs> um, but not in my mind. Like, I'm enjoying this moment, which is the, the <clears throat> there's nowhere else to go. Mm. Like, because I thought there's a place to get to. Mm. So I thought that's going to be better than this place I am now, which is such a big illusion, which I, I knew intellectually. I, I knew to some extent I was seeing, but now I feel like you can't throw if you're not here, mm. neither felt for others. It's just not possible. Mm. So it just doesn't make sense when I'm noticing, like I'm raving my engine. You're like, you're like, mm, mm, like, like that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's my turn to serve myself. I, I see that a lot love letter tell me like, okay, buddy, slow down. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm beginning to serve myself like never before. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So the picture I'm getting then, Madasha, yeah. is you've driven your Ferrari to the countries. You're sitting on the bonnet, if you're allowed to sit on the bonnet of Ferrari, that is, admiring <laughs> the beauty of life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> but we couldn't give up the free. You still had to keep the Ferrari. you just not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing it's useful when it's useful. Right. But it's right. not useful. When it's not otherwise. useful, yes. <laughs> yeah, it has it has some use. It mm. has some use. Okay. So so I'm beginning to see where can I use it? Mm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Alhamdulillah. So one of the one of the challenges we have at Back to the Future is that because it's mostly us sisters that everybody sees, and so we mostly have sisters coming through our programs. I'd love for you to share from the perspective of a brother why you think it's beneficial for brothers to actually join at Back to the Fitra, what they can get out of it, that it's not just for us sisters. It's because you're pointing to the truth. <laughs> exactly, to everyone. Okay. And you're pointing to the truth of how everything works, how a love system works. You're pointing to the truth of how actually our connection with Allah works. You're pointing From a brother's perspective, because I think, and I believed this myself before I had this understanding, that we think we know how all that works. Yeah. And we think we know so somebody hearing that might not really get, well, yeah, I already know that. So why is yeah. this different? All right. <clears throat> so what I noticed, so what, what uniquely you offer at Back to Sistra is you've connected beautifully the inside-out paradigm, which is, I might call it the psychology of our mind okay, um, to Islamic teachings, not the Islamic teachings we know, we think we know. It's seeing, experiencing it from the inside out. Okay? It's not about knowing how what others tell us. It's about getting an insight, which is directly from Allah, okay, into how everything works. For example, I, I had a lot of assumptions about who Allah is, 
now I am beginning to see who Allah really is because I am seeing it from a sight within, not the ideas in my mind. Okay? Mm. So the inside out paradigm has helped me see deeply the not intellectually, because a lot of things are intellectually. T- the, I have written so many biomes. Yeah, I've studied with, with quite a few stars. Yeah. But the thing is, it's nothing wrong with them. My intellect was coming in the way. Because mm. I was trying to understand the, the concepts of it. Now, this is different. This experience okay, of what you're offering is, I would say it's like my mind has very little role, but my heart has all space. Okay, I'm dropping off from my head and I'm dropping into my heart. And that's where Allah is always guiding us in the moment. And I knew it intellectually, but I really didn't know. I've never really experienced it so in my everyday life. Mm. So this is like an everyday life experience okay? from a buying decision to, to everything. Which, which is very real. So when I, when, so I tell my clients now, you have access to Allah 24 bar seven. Like I feel that. Mm. Alhamdulillah, I feel that. Now, I don't feel it when I'm in my head, but I know that I'm in my head and I'm feeling it, so I'm in my head. Okay? That doesn't mean I have lots of access. That just means I'm shopping at the wrong place right now. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, so there is this, this deeper wisdom of Allah and, and you're, you're, you're helping people see it um, more easily, I would say. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Okay? So you don't, so this, this way, this is what I, I, it seems to me. I don't need <clears throat> a middleman anymore, alhamdulillah. To connect with Allah, okay? I, I still respect. I follow a lot of Ustad, but I don't need them to connect with Allah. I have access to Allah, like real time. And what a gift it is seeing it for yourself beyond the intellect. Mm-hmm. So, so to me, that's an incredible gift. And I don't know if anybody else is marrying the inside out paradigm with the Islamic teaching. I don't know. So that's the biggest gift you've offered me. And I offer that to non Muslims too now. Alhamdulillah. Me too. And they get it. Yeah, yes. They get it. I've, I've actually coached a woman who was wanting to end her life, and I've used Quranic verses. Yeah. As part of coaching her, I've said, you interpret this the way it works for you, but from our Islamic perspective, this is the way we see it. And they've gone, ah, oh, that's so helpful. So in, in fact, the way I see it is this our human experience. We know that it's the truth that we've learned, the inside-out paradigm, because it marries so perfectly with Islam. Because if the truth is with the truth, of course it's going to fit, isn't it? And that's why it's been such a blessing, you know, to have both together because it's felt like this is the missing link. I have I feel with what I've studied that the early scholars, they understood this intuitively. They didn't need anybody to teach them this. But we've lived now in this era with so many, so much misinformation and so many misconceptions that we've lost this. And this is this missing piece of the puzzle that brings Muslims back to truly experiencing their religion. Because Islam isn't something separate from us. We're we're living it. And I think that's what you're you're describing is we're living in the feeling of Islam not just living Islam if you know what I'm trying to apply it to our life we're living 
it instead. Alhamdulillah. It doesn't mean we're perfect Muslims, by the way. That doesn't it doesn't work that way. It's more the feeling. <laughs> and the and you're talking about that guidance from Allah. It's that tawakal that you were talking about at the beginning being very vexed or anxious about not knowing. It's the now being comfortable in not knowing because we know Allah knows and that's all that matters and we don't need to worry about it because Allah knows and Allah's going to guide us in the right moment exactly what we need to do or say so we don't need to worry about it. Just be and that takes all the thinking away. That's where the Ferrari gets parked in the garage and you start to walk in the park barefoot, right? <laughs> Because it's like life is so beautiful. I get teased because I take pictures of leaves, but I go, but it's a beautiful leaf. You know, <laughs> you just, even the leaf on the tree, not just the tree being beautiful, but look, that's a beautiful leaf on the beautiful tree. And the same goes, and I think you, you shared that really beautifully, the same goes in our relationships. We start noticing the beautiful things about all the people around us and alhamdulillah so Madasa, um thank you so much for sharing those thoughts would you recommend brothers join the inner circle now that we're going to have a brother to support the brothers as well inshallah right would you recommend mm -hmm. yeah. this as a place for them to come to not to feel shy of the fact that they are, there's a lot of sisters have preceded them in joining, but we don't want to leave the brothers behind. We want them with us on this journey. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. What, what, one of the things which has been a humbling experience for me being with sisters is noticing how simple their world is. A man's world, in my humble opinion, is very complex. Okay? Because the mind is always thinking of ways of, I think, um, of earning and making things work and, you know, quite a little more logical, I would say. Okay? A woman's world is very, very simple. Like, they keep it simple, let me put it that way, because they have real problems. Okay? And I think, I thought I had problems. It was very humbling for me to notice I actually don't have problems. I think I have. Okay. So, so the sisters have really humbled me to see the world in a more simple way, alhamdulillah. Okay. And, and it's such a blessing. And in fact, my, my respect for, for women in my life has increased incredibly because I didn't know what their world is. Though I've lived with them, I didn't know. Okay? I, 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 I never thought their world is different. Okay? They, they, are, they are battling with a lot more cultural complexities, which I intellectually knew, but I never knew how... Huh, how it can come in the way of their life. And that's true for my wife. I see that now. That's true for my mother. That's true for all the women in my life. In my life. Okay? So I, I've become a lot more humbler and gentle when I am with, with all the incredible women in my life. Because I know my world is much more simpler. I don't battle with cultural issues. Alhamdulillah, I don't. They're very little I, I am dealing with. Mm -hmm. So... So it's very humbling. And I've been to a lot of coaching programs. You know this. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I'm already a certified coach with a couple of very well-known mainstream, may I say, schools. Yeah. To me, in fact, the meaning of mentoring and coaching and being offering help became simple because I noticed <laughs> these are simple people with no coaching background coaching me and i felt like oh my goodness they they are incredibly good how did that happen because allah makes it happen there's nothing complex in this okay so 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 the one thing which i can't thank you enough is is 
the simplicity what has come into my life just being with the sister mm. it, it's incredibly i'm incredibly gratified by that okay? so i'm i'm going like okay like this is simple this is in concept so i would say just to appreciate the world a little more because the men and women together are everywhere in families and in, in organizations we talk a lot about women empowerment okay? but i think this is very different this is really seeing the equality in how allah made us okay? and coming together and learning like that to me was um, uh, such a privilege okay? and i'm very grateful to allah and you that he said help through you okay? i could not have known so so this is indeed a unique opportunity it could be a little strange in 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 the beginning but they're extremely warm people <laughs> extremely warm people which i thought oh my goodness i i've never experienced such warmth ever before <laughs> is this for even real <laughs> and obviously we are here for the sake of allah that makes it even more sacred mm. we are here for the sake of allah so that breaks all barriers in my mind of a woman and man so like i see them as 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 they are a gift of allah and so am i and we are here together learning about allah and about serving mm-hmm. so the common purpose for the sake of allah makes it even more easier to break all the barriers in my mind so it is an incredible opportunity and i think inner circle is the best place to come and taste it because inner circle they get a taste of it okay? the real deal is is in the in the mentoring program okay? but inner circle they get a good taste of it that's what i have noticed hmm. alhamdulillah jazakallah khair for for sharing all of that and we we do our best to provide an environment where there can be that safety and openness but also be protective of our islamic values as well because of course of the islamic values between genders which is why we're really keen to have brothers come through the program become mentors and coaches so that they can do the intimate work with the brothers because we don't want to do any things a lot in the process of of doing this beautiful work for sake of Allah so jazakallah khair for sharing your experience and i i agree i've never experienced such warm and loving people as we have within back to the future and i do think it does come down to intention because everybody's intentions are pure we just don't have fitna we just have a a a peace amongst us all alhamdulillah and transitioning to having just the two of you you and muhammad as being the only brothers in the program that was a big transition for back to the fitra but we allah sent the best brothers to do that with us you've been really wonderful the way you've worked um with us and you know shown up and participated full heartedly i think is the way to put it you know you, did, you didn't hold back and i think we've learned a lot also by hearing a brother's perspective and i think that is one thing that is really beautiful is moving forward is having us understanding each other as brothers and sisters more um that i think a lot of our challenges will be overcome when we understand the other better inshallah inshallah jazakallah khair so we've been talking about the inner circle i better show them the link and say in ramadan we have an amazing offer usually it's $490 for lifetime access and that's um fairly ridiculous already but we during ramadan it's only 290 dollars for lifetime access lifetime access not just to the training programs but to at least 4 to 5 live session get some 
put it on parenting, on relationships, on any of more spiritual challenges that you're having. We week, we have the 99 names of Allah every week, which, which helps us understand our relationship with Allah. So it's an amazing place to be. If you want a payment plan, you can start for as little as $29 a month started straight away. But as we said at the beginning, we're up to the letter V, which means there's not many, many letters to go, which means we're nearly at the end of Ramadan, which means we're also nearly at the end of this opportunity. So this is the time to join if you've been thinking about joining our inner circle. Jazakallah, Hermadasa. This has been amazing. You've shared so much. I really appreciate your time. Assalamu alaikum.